I mean, that was cool. Like, this shadow was, like, turning earlier. I didn't really say anything about it. But uh, it was, like, turning at least like it was. Okay. Um. Maybe. I can't go through here, can I? I can't. Oh, wait. Was this. This. No. 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 Okay. That's just no. And maybe this is where. Hey, this was back outside, yeah, okay. I think I just gotta go back then. I guess that's explain why the guy came out the wall and tried to murder me when I tried to come back here. That makes sense. Alright. Jeez. Start pumping for a little bit. Uh, the last thing I have to go is upstairs. I saw one of the guys, the white rope dudes, they're upstairs. So I'm gonna assume... Wait, did that one white rope dude drop something out in that corridor place? Hopefully not. That makes sense. Someone's breathing heavily. Heavily. Not heavily. I don't know, you can breathe heavily. Heavily. Yeah. That's... Yeah, I don't know how that would work. Anyways, let's go check up here. This is, this is gonna be a smart life decision. Prolong so much life. Get back! Stay away! Why, are you gonna try and murder me if I get too close? Most likely. Alright. So this is where I need to go. Uh... Alright. Yeah. So, uh, let me guess, is this, uh... Oh! Sweet. At the fitting on the sleeping, uh, sleeping stone, the contraption began to move. A minute, a minute script is engraved on the stones. Engraved in the pedestal, the same number of panes as are engraved on the sleeping stone. What? Seems the door has unlocked. I don't know what the hell. I've realized that each one uh, gave me like a movement, like each like dash. I'm not sure where I was supposed to put them though. I guess I, I guess I had to get rid of each movement. I think that's what it was. It wasn't necessarily where I had to put it, but I had to make sure they a movement each movement was done. I'm assuming that's what it was. I guess that made, that's the only thing I can make sense of that. I don't think there was a particular place for it. Or above it now. Let me guess. I can see a door on the other side of the roof. If I were to walk across the roof, I'm gonna break my neck. Like probably a neck broken neck lady who fell off and killed herself here, or something. And I'm another fighter. Ain't that right, game? Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Oh god, I can't. I can't. Yeah, that's that's just no. There's nothing over here. Yeah, I'm gonna go back over here. I I can't. I can't move faster than this because you know I might slip or fall. And the game won't allow it square, so no running. Probably run on this though. Yep, and it's up. Oh my god, okay. Like, Broken Neck Lady, I think she's like in every game. At least, or someone falls off, and then those fights are interesting. I guess not yet. I guess I already have to fight Goose, so, like, you get a break. You get a break, guy. You're fine right now. Um, what am I looking at? Oh, hey! Something is reflecting the light on the floor. Two Mirandans key has been carved into the... I f hey, I found a part for the camera obscura. You have a crypt a function of aid. Crypt of aid. Crypt function of aid. Addition of escape. When you're caught by a ghost, if you're timing pressing the shoot button is good, you can evade the attack. Alright then. Uh, let's practice it, dude. I mean, I, I don't know. How to, I gotta. Flip this. Give me a second, dude. Uh. How do I. Uh, oh, wait, no, these are already equipped. Okay. 
That's cool. Oh yeah, let me upgrade something in the middle of this fight. Uh, displays recharge rate. How about that? That seems cool. I don't know what that is. And I'm gonna go back to range. Alright, then let, let's actually fight. That's alright, I made you wait for a little bit. I don't want to fight you on the rooftop because that would just be stupid and just silly. Oh, dude, I have like, oh, my thing looks cool now. It's got like. Whoops! I shot you again. Oh. Well, that was. You were a thousand times easier than. Am I using the good film? No, I'm using that one. Oh, I mean the decent film, anyways. Wait, what? Oh. I. Not sure what I did with that. What? What did I do? <sighs> Man, I gotta not mash A or X because I'm just freaking out. Alright. Oh, hey. There's his ghost. Or whatever. Wait, two Miranda keys. Uh, maidens? Or did I say maidens? Why did I say Miranda? It's probably two maidens. I'm probably like on some type of drug right now. I'm. I need to go see this. No mandarins. Mandarins. I'm not exactly sure. I guess. I guess it's like a flower or something. Um. I don't. Know, was the, is that where he's at, or is that like the other place I looked before? I know it's not the etched arrow nonsense. Well, he just went through that door, so I'm gonna assume it's that that place, because this game seems better at like hinting where you need to go. So I'm gonna go save real quick, because I'm not entirely sure how long I will be able to keep affording at the moment. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can right now, because this game it's pretty fun. I mean, it's yeah, scary, but yeah. gotta. That's fun. Yeah. Just trying to get. As much as recorded as possibly, so I have at least a good stream of videos to upload. You know, you know, you know, it is. you know. Can't leave it, guys, in the dark. Duke, and the Daleks. What? All right. Wait, what? No, 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 don't do that. What the heck was that? Oh, the light. That was weird. At least I would assume it was a light. Maybe it's like some weird demon ghost head that just flew up. Because those things could, like, chase you around in, like, the first game. If you weren't going the right way. If you're, like, wait, like walking around randomly and wondering the house, they would, like, random heads would appear and try to kill you. It, was, it made no sense. Okay. Uh, are you gonna come out and kill me again? That'd be not good. Just don't. Just don't. Snow is going through the door back there. I don't know if you guys saw that. Like a split second, snow came through the side of the wall, not the door. So I guess I lied about that. Hmm. Okay, you have to be it then. Yep, alright then. Use the two Mandarin key to remove the lock. Well, that was quick. I didn't think you'd get the stuff to go in here. I mean, wait a second, this is where the ladies at. Why would I want to go here? Whatever. from that daydream. In the dream, you was inside. There's a whole film in the camera obscura. You got musty film. Alright then. Man of sleep. Said the house was a courtyard. It was snowing. There's a line of graves and an even older house living up behind. Yeah, the lady's still gonna kill you. Alright. Um wait. I'm just gonna do this again. Okay. I do that because you never know when I'm gonna get interrupted. So let's do this. Answer that phone. That ring. Ring a ding. Ding ding. Hey. Hey, Miko. 
Are you still searching that woman? I don't need to know anything about her. I'm fine. I have yes. Her. Kurosawa speaking. Ray, it's Miko. Good morning. I gathered together all the information I got from the editor about the woman yesterday. I wanted you to see it. It's laying on the desk in my room, so please go take a look at it if you like. I've gotten a little worried about all this. There's one other thing I wanted to check out. I'll be back after I finish. I understand. Thanks. At least the voice actors are kind of good. Hey, cat's still hanging out, and we don't care about it. Is it raining constantly? My drizzle has been falling for several days now. Okay, so you get cursed of infinite rain. That's that's how you know if you're yeah if you've lost a loved one, or you know yeah I guess that's a loved one and um, it's raining constantly. You're about to go to the manor to sleep and die. So yeah, that's not cool. Don't know how that's gonna work. Let's see. Underdeveloped film. You want to develop this film? Yeah, I'm gonna develop it instantaneously through the power of magic. It looks like the grave, the looks like the grave mound in the courtyard by the stairwell. Maybe I can learn something from this photo. Okay. Do we want to develop this film? Black human-shaped stains mark the walls of a narrow corridor. Maybe I can find something about this. Is this like some weird spontaneous combustion and stuff, and then like their ashes are staining the wall? I don't know. I feel like I can develop now. At least that's what I'm getting. I don't know. I'm gonna assume probably like some weird ritual they did, and they kind of. Yo, dude! I have a camera that doesn't. Hey, that's not a cool sound effect. Kind of lame. The points were though. All right then, I was right. I was so right. Is there gonna be ghosts in here? Nope, not yet. Okay. Dang man, it's like I've played horror games before or something. Can I just leave my house and forget about all this? Nope. Since that day, I don't leave the house since I have unless I have to work. Ugh. Depression. So I guess nothing of the depression dialogue changes. Alright. Cat disappears every time I go through that place, so the cat's clearly evil. Wait, there is one place I did not check this entire time. Can I even go through? Storage space under the stairs. It's full of old. Yep. No, I can't. Okay. No, I didn't sell that. That house, though. That house, though. Yo. Can I, uh. You still look at me? Oh, that's cool. Cat staring from wall. At least that's what it would have said. <laughs> this is Miko's room. I don't really like coming in here while she's out. You don't like doing anything while she's out. Hey, cat. If I gotta show me what. Take another picture of this cat. Oh yeah. Yeah. I did it. I'm good. All right. It was on our desk, right? Miko always keeps her desk so neatly arranged. There's a pile of reference materials and Miko's notes on the desk. She said she had to put them together for me. Yashino Takigawa. The woman in the photograph. Name Yashigo Takigawa. 26. She was the only survivor of a plane crash that occurred in August. The following is a comment from a reporter named Azua who covered it. In the plane crash, Miss Tasigawa was thrown out of the, air of the aircraft and was mostly untouched by the fire. Also, the arbor, when she was thrown, became a cushion, and she was thus miraculously saved. When rescued, her, internal, her external injuries were mild burns, bruises, and scrapes. It was determined there was no threat to her life, but as it took four days to find her, she was very dehydrated, weak, and distressed, and she seemed to be suffering mentally. During those four days, she was surrounded by other victims, her relatives, and her lover's corpses. Next is what I heard from someone at a hospital admissions. After hospitalization, she was extremely frightened of being alone or sleeping. She apparently had frightening dreams and would even hurt herself to stay awake. Over time, the amount she slept grew longer until she spent most of the day sleeping. At first, 
It was thought she was sleeping due to the psychological trauma she experienced, but her condition gradually grew worse, and she would sleep for three days straight. When she woke, she would complain of hallucinations, saying pain or there are bruises all over my body. As her hallucinations grew worse, she became less responsive to outside stimulus during her waking hours, and would sometimes mutter deliriously or sing lullabies. The past several days, she hasn't woken, and the rest is his race off. This is also just a hospital rumor, but the staff has a long-standing urban legend amongst themselves about patients like Takigawa, or who they call lost patients. Alright then. Placed between the pages of Miku's notebook is a copy of a newspaper cutting with today's date written on it. Patient disappears. Hmm. <clears throat> I wonder if you guys like me to read it like faster or slower. I'm, I'm gonna read this one a little bit slower, probably faster. You probably can't even understand what I'm saying, so I read this slower. Um, <clears throat> on the night of the night, a patient disappeared from her ward in Katsugara Hospital, and the police are currently searching for her. The missing person is the sole survivor of the August plane crash, Yashino Takigawa, 26. Miss Takigawa became emotionally unstable after the incident. She was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and hospitalized long-term. The hospital's response to her disappearance went no further than we are investigating the details. Ms. Sakigawa lost all her family in the accident, and concerns have been raised about her current whereabouts. Thank you. Disappearances. Cool. Picture stand on the desk has been laid flat. Is this a picture of Miko? Oh, dude, I swear that has to be the first thing. The first game. For a kind looking young man. A boyfriend? No, more like brother and sister. He's always been cheerful enough. I don't think I've ever seen her look quite discontented. I heard she had lost a family member. Could this person in the picture be? I believe so. What? Alright then. Wait. I go to my room. Do I rest, change my clothes, and then wait until it's night time to go back to sleep? Like, why am I in my room sitting down? I don't know, I guess that's it's easier to, whatever, won't question it. Miko, <clears throat> the girl who works as my assistant. She's the sister of Yu's best friend. Or she lost a relative. The photo on her desk showed her with a young man who looked like her brother. She's always been a cheerful person. I have often seen her smile as happy as in that picture. I wonder if the person she lost was someone she was very close to. Maybe she lost someone special, just like me. Eh, most likely. Human shaped stains. The narrow corridor on the other side of the door where I heard that moaning was strung with secret rope and paper. The walls were covered with human shaped stains. There was a black stain left behind when Yashino Tokigawa vanished. Did something happen on those walls as well? Disappearances. According to Miko's research, Yashino Takigawa was asleep almost all the time, just before she disappeared. After the accident, she slept longer and longer hours, and whenever she woke up, she would hum that that sounded like a lullaby. Apparently, the medical community is abuzz with rumors of similar occurrences, hospital patients who disappeared. This is another of those urban legends. Urban legends that become real. So I know they're not really legends. Uh, eh, eh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's dive back in. These develop pictures. If I show them to Miko, she might know something. Oh, wait. Can I? Can I go talk to her right now? Hey. Yo. Ray? Are you having trouble sleeping? I am. I mean, I'm going to a horrible it ghost. It seems like you're having a lot of nightmares lately. Are you alright? No. I, I told you. I ghost horrible. You know what I'm talking about. You should take this. What can I do for you? Miko, I was wondering if you could research this photograph for me. Thanks. 
Miko, I was wondering if you could research this photograph for me. Thanks. Understood. I'll let you know if I find anything. Yeah, I want more backstory. I want to know the truth of everything. Oh, a desk, or a small dressing mirror, and a lamp of a paper shade. Miko made the shade and the cloth that hangs over the mirror herself. Miko is incredibly talented. Oh man, and I was gonna say something. Like her room, it doesn't have as much stuff as uh, Ray's. At least, like hers. I don't know. Let me let me go in there. Yeah, he's got carpet blinds, like all this. Stuff. Yeah, see stuff on the wall here. All this, like I don't know, giant desk, like her room. I guess it shows you. I guess it's supposed to be like some personality thing. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. I don't. Know. Cause you, some people go, like, oh, yeah, this is because Biko is like this and Ray is 